All right, and we're back to Clock Tower, everybody. Revisiting it as a stream, and the last hour totally did not happen. I totally did not just spend, not just spend an hour running around with nothing happening, having no idea what I was supposed to do. <laughs> and we're just gonna ignore that and start a new game. Game start. Raised in the Granite Orphanage. Jennifer and her friends. Oh, that doesn't look correct. What, what's with that weird square? Or wanted as adopted daughters. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it happened in September. It's September right now, chat. <gasps> Spooky. Wink, wink. Actually, it wasn't even my fault, by the way. There's just a really finicky item trigger that, for some reason, we couldn't figure out. The walkthroughs didn't figure out. Laura, hurry up. We want to be there before sunset. Let's see. Miss Mary. Yes. From now on, what, what kind of place will we be living in? Oh, boy. That's the fifth time you've asked. Um... That, I, that, that kind of can- Uh-oh, don't worry. It's a very nice place. Oh, God. What happened? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? We're almost there, see? <laughs> that didn't happen last time. I mean, last year. Oh, dear. Okay, maybe it was for the best that we uh, started over, wasn't it, chat? <laughs> That's corrupting. I broke the video game. What a huge place. What a mansion. Yeah. The main hall's gigantic. I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. Okay. Yeah. No, but for real, that is an unfortunate thing about the beginning of this game, is it, it's it's very infuriating. Like, the real game is until you get to, like, uh, the East Wing, and it's just really annoying to run back and forth trying to figure out what to do, and that's exactly what we did. So we're going to make it interesting and just start over. Hello, friends. It's Pew. Hey, Anne. You want to know what kind of guy... Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. There we go. What is it? Is something wrong? I mean, chat, I played this like two years ago on the channel. House makes me uneasy. But we can revisit as streams. Streams, everybody. I doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Heh. <laughs> Lots paranoid. Alright. Now I've talked to everyone. I talked to them again. Hey, can you go find Miss Mary? Yeah, she's taking her sweet time, so let's go. Let's just go away. Let's just run for it. Shenanigans shall ensue. Uh, I guess I can't. I have to talk to everyone again. Won't let me leave. Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go and look for her. Spooky noises. Spooky, spooky, spooky noises. Alright, here we go. Eyeballs. You see that? <gasps> what was that noise? The main hall. Girls? <gasps> what happened to everyone? Come on. This isn't funny. Hmm. Hmm, let's just go. Let's just go, chat. Let's just go. Let's go look around for spooky, spooky things. Again, I should probably repeat for those who haven't seen this game before, just joining the chat. 
This is a Super Nintendo spooky game. It was only released in Japan, and this is a fan translation. And it's got some randomized elements. If you know exactly what to do, it can be very short. And if you spend an hour trying to figure out why this, why uh, the cursor wouldn't activate on a box, then um, it can it can be really infuriating. <laughs> Should I just go get the car ending right away? I could do that. What's that noise? There's something in the bathroom. Let's not go in there. Do the car. I'll go get the car ending. Okay. What's this? This happens when you don't go in the bathroom. Dun dun. He just falls through the top floor. Ooh. Destroyed like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Run. Oh boy. Run, Jennifer, run. Now the bathroom is safe. Lock the door. Come on, scissorman. Leave me alone. Oh! Is there nothing I can check? There isn't. Ah. Oh. It's actually sometimes random. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't even get a chance to panic. He just got me. Alright. Dead end, everybody. I lost. Yeah, sometimes, this is a thing that happens in this game and the sequel, is sometimes when you go into a hiding spot, it's just pure RNG whether or not you survive. God dang it, Bobby, what did I tell you about running with them gosh dang scissors? Let's see if it works this time. Is there something else I can check here? Nope, there's no triggers, nothing. Ah, yeah, I don't think I can... Run! No, I don't- I don't even get a panic option in this situation. Hide behind the toilet. Oh, I'm sure that goes so well. Very, very well. At the very least, the game is generous with the continue option, so you don't have to, uh, You don't have to just start completely over. So let's leave the room instead. He won't be right on the other side of the door. Go, 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 go! He's right there now. Bum, 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 bum. Hide under the bed! Here we go. Should be fine. You can't even see her on the background here. Here he goes. Get done. What? Oh, that's the parrot. Where did she go? Oh, the the parrot told the parrot told him where I was. Come on. You kidding me? That's so silly. He's on the side now. Open the door. Let's get out of here. I hope he's... Okay, good. He spawned on the right side. This game has some uh, weird chase scenes because of stuff like that. In case you didn't know. Like, he doesn't actually go through the doors. He's kind of just appears in the hall that he's chasing you, quote-unquote. And now we walk up the stairs super slowly. I'm gonna go to the cabinet hiding spot. He teleports really weirdly to also sort of give you a chance from, like, you know, getting soft-locked with the continue option. Ugh. The body's gone. Yeah, don't worry about it. 
It's okay, it's canon. Remember, this game's sequel... Oops. Uh, make sure you uh, walk, Jennifer, for, for crying out loud, walk. Okay, uh... This game's sequel is based on, uh... The bad ending, where all the other characters die. So, let's see. We're gonna try and play that game right after. Hopefully there's time. Here we go, this place again. Okay. I gotta mash... Everything! What? Oh, come on. Well, I guess I lose. Chat, what button was it again? There's an interact button and there's a panic button that's only used for that specific stuff. It's it, This game has some awkward controls. B button? You're right. I always forget it's B button. For, B button doesn't do anything else. Except you mash it during certain situations. So silly. No, Y doesn't work. Y does not work. I have everyone tries to tell me that, but it it does not. No matter how hard I mash Y, it doesn't do anything. There we go. Let's see. Y button is interact and A button is the item menu. And B button is panic. It's I, if only there was something in game that told me this, I really wish there was. Anyways, there he goes. Oh, it's got some frustra got a little bit of frustrating uh, jank to it, but we got away from him. Let's see various things. So this is yeah the first hurdle of the game is after you deal with the first Scissorman chase, you kind of just have to run around looking for specific item. Like, uh, item trigger so that you can, uh, move on. Nothing else here. What do we have here? Can insecticide. Tried clicking that before. Let's see here. Probably explained in the manual. Oh, yes. Picked up some rope. Okay, so I got some things. Okay. Wish the third game told you to check the samurai armor. Oh, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that one. All right. Now we got to deal with the magic box. The magic, magic box. So how this works is you're supposed to push this box to here, but you can't push the box. If you check it, it just she just says it's empty. And she just kind of stands on it for no reason. Look at that. My knee just cracked, and that was kind of loud. Nothing inside. So what happens is you gotta check the nest. Then you check the box. But if you check that stick, she will try and poke the nest. And then if you check the box, she'll just look, say, look at it and say it's empty. And that's what, what caused us a lot of trouble earlier. Because even the walkthroughs didn't really, apparently didn't really pick up on the fact that you have to check these in a very specific order in order to, in order to um, do the thing correctly. I hate it. I, I despise it. The nest is full of eggs and junk. Hey, uh, is it full of anything else? What is this? The nest is full of eggs and junk. Oh! So we did it all this time, and guess what, chat? Uh... It, it doesn't even have an item this time. Instead, the, this key, there's a key that can either be in the nest or in a box downstairs. And now it's in the box. That's cool. That's so cool. Yeah, it spawned in the other location now. Yay. Dang it, game. We gotta go downstairs now. There's that phone. Scissorman does not appear for quite a while, but uh, before that, how about I go get the car ending? Now that Scissorman's gone. I can just continue right after, so... Hang on, uh... I'm just gonna use this... Jennifer can only walk down the stairs and incredibly slowly, so, uh, yeah, we. I, I think it's okay to just kind of speed that up a tad. Oh, uh... Okay... 
kind of game kind of got a little funky there for a second. Let's go in here. Okay, so let's go here. There's a car in the garage. Now, if you go over here, you get the car key. And if you use the car key a few times in the car, you can just immediately leave, disregarding your friends. This is a key. A car key. Pocketed the car key. All right, here we go. I can get out of here with this car. But... The others. What about them? Ending says it's canon that they're gone. Well, game two does. What should I do? What should you do, Jennifer? You should go. You should leave. There we go. Let's get on out of here. Oh, yeah, here we go. And we have to watch the credits, so I'll just go ahead and uh, get through these so we can see the ending. Here we go. Directed by Hifumi Kono. Is that the fella that did Project Scissors? She worked out well for him. Okay, here we go. And she's trying to leave, and... <gasps> they were in the back seat. She didn't get away. That's your punishment for trying to leave without checking for your friends. Oh no! Alright, let's try to continue again. And it'll take me right back here. I don't even have the car keys. Uh, hang on. Let me just, uh, let her stop for a second and rest. So she can recover her energy. Man, I like this game. It has a lot of charm to it, but it really does have... A lot of crust to it, sadly. That just makes it, like, not fun to play without a walkthrough. Like, I think the idea of a lot of old games like this is that the length of the game was essentially to make everything obscure as possible so that it takes you forever to beat it. Or rather, figure out the basic controls. But... Especially nowadays, a lot of people just wouldn't have the patience for this this kind of thing. It's a cozy game to watch, though, because it has a lot of interesting, like, you know, elements for, like, hiding from the killer. I mean, this is Super Nintendo. That's awesome. Now, let me see here. Let's go in here. What if you played a newer version of the game, like Nightcry? I would rather play Clock Tower 2, the, the Struggle Within, that one specifically, than I would rather play that game again. Gas tanks for stove. Clock tower video incoming. And I thought about doing uh, videos on the clock tower series, but Nitro Rad already has some pretty good ones. I might, I might just hold off for quite a bit before I do that. Clock tower three. One day, one day. Clock tower three has absolutely nothing to do with the rest of the series, though. Even less so than uh, the two or Ghost Ed. It's weird. This game has confusing names. For everything. Buff, 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 buff. Thanks for having superhuman patience, because you're totally right about this. Oh, you think this takes patience? Wait till you see the struggle within. That game is a nightmare, because they the, com the company literally ran out of money when they were making it, so they just, like, padded everything out with the most awkward stuff at the end. There's something shiny here. What's that? <gasps> there's, there's bugs on the meat! There we go. Now I gotta leave. Run, Jennifer, run! I have to leave and re-enter the room because the bugs are bugging me. Go, Jennifer, go! Yeah, I have the insecticide. I just need to... They're kind of attacking me right now. Hang on. I did get the ham from the fridge, yeah. If you don't know, you need this ham. Otherwise, you will just have to start over later.
Okay, um... All right, use it here, Jennifer. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this. I know about the things. Yeah, I've 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 played this on the channel before years ago. But it's spooky season. And I wanted to play more spooky games. I mean, if I can play the same Pokemon game like eight times, I don't see why I can't play a spooky game the second time. Or uh, maybe more than that. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge, stream audience. Let's see. Oh, hang, hang on a second. What, what? Oh, that's right. This game does have a pause option, but you can't tell you pa if the game's actually paused. There's not like a noise or anything, so it's just kind of weird. Alright, so let's just stand here for a second and let my energy recover. Good old Picaspri spooky time. Yeah, man, it, it, we've been going 20 minutes here, and we're still at the first section of the game, which can be very awkward to get through. Once you get to the other side of the house, that's where, like, a lot of, like, the random scissorman elements appear with all the different hiding spots. Ugh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sprite work in this game is good, yes. So let's just wait a second, because we want blue energy. Uh, the rope is for later. I know where the- I know where the key is, since it wasn't in the nest. Forget about the box. The box doesn't matter anymore. A part of me wishes that someone would make, like, a modernized version of this game. You know, with the sprite work in that, but... With much better, like, uh controls and just you know wouldn't make things so ob so obscure to figure out or rather maybe just not have extremely slow gameplay it's one of those things where i just want an in one of those some indie game to do it just be like oh the big companies ain't gonna do this no more how about i do it instead let's go over here Let's see. This is not what I'm looking for, right? Use the gold key. Gold key wasn't in my inventory, though. Oh. Hang on a second. Uh, let me turn on the lights. I think there was supposed to be someone here if I got to this room fast enough. But I can still do what I need to. <gasps> uh. Uh. Is that... Why is she in the suit of armor? Laura? I don't recall this. That's weird. I think that might be necessary for an ending, actually. Because it's required to see all your the different characters. Looks like a bureau. There's some women's clothes there. This one's different. Up a black robe. Oh, okay. That's one of the two spots that it can appear in. Check over here. Um. Before I check the desk there, various beverages. Maybe I should go check the thing. The phone line's been cut. I'm supposed to check this here. Wait, what? Now it's ringing? Okay, then don't ring. Can we play with the mirror again? Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. Like, this game has, like, a weird thing to it where a character survives, quote-unquote, by sim you simply not happen happening to see, like, the event or whatever. So as long as I actively avoid, see, like, seeing where a character can just, you know, die, they'll be alive later, because that's how, that's how things work. Hmm. Now, 
if we go in here, we should be able to see the third character. Die, and I'm, we're, we're gonna go cannon here. So if I walk down here, it's not happening? There's supposed to be an event here. Swimming pool. I might have to make this happen the old the another way. Hang on. I need to do the thing where someone falls out a window. I think I can make that happen. Ignore the phone. I gotta go all the way to the end of this hall. Boop, 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 boop. Besides, we get to see more of the game this way anyway. And that window can sometimes just fling open and spook you like that. Random spooks. Oh boy, and hang on a second. Then we got you have to click this specific spot on the pile in order to get a rock. Boop, boop, boop. This is the type of thing I'm talking about, how the first half of the game is so obscure. You you want to pick up a rock from this pile, you can only check this this one spot with the cursor. I hate it. Stuff like that is just kinda ridiculous. Then you use the rock on this thing here. Boop, 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 boop. Then we go out here. And this is the courtyard. I was trying to look at this place from the window. The doors were locked there, by the way. There's no reason to. Wonder, will anything happen now? Yeah, this game does have some patience. Which, admittedly... I don't think I really have. All right, so if the window stuff's not happening. Okay. And don't want to go in here yet. I mean, I'll be there in a moment anyway. This game is very confusing. I'm sorry you don't get to see a four-hour uncut stream of me wandering around having no idea what to do, but then you will not enjoy- people will not enjoy this game if I do that. And I move this rock. And now we're back here. Yeah, this door was blocked before. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm just gonna go- I'm just gonna go back to that room now. Actually, while I'm here, let me go grab something else. I need to go back in this hall. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit annoying how there's some items. They have two spots they can randomly spawn in. Just to confuse you if you uh, are replaying it. No, this isn't the right room. No, 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 don't check that. Don't check the light switch, Jennifer. Oh, you dang fool. That's also annoying. All right, I thought I was close by to something, but it doesn't matter. Use the gold key. Gold key's not like... Oh, now she's here. Miss Mary. Glad to see you safe, Jennifer. Oh, no. Mary. Everyone, everyone, everything's going to be just fine. Just fine, Jennifer. It's ahead of backwards. Well, I guess it's a good thing I wandered around. Now we get to see the scene. Yeah, you may have seen this was on the table earlier. Well, drink this. It'll calm you down. Yeah, yeah, good idea, Jennifer. Huh? Oh. No, who saw that coming? Oh, no. 
Good job, Jennifer. And now we're here. And this is what we picked up the ham for. Uh, where? All right, hang on. Can I not pick up whatever this is here? Yeah. If you don't give this guy food, he eats you and you game over. So if you get to this cage without the ham, Simon B -b -b Barrows, that's who I am. This man is Barrows? Yes. He's the husband just locked away here. <laughs> right now, it's watching you. Huh? Well, what is... Watching you. Cradle under the star. Cradle under the star? <laughs> yeah, this guy is just in here starving. And if you interact with, interact with him in this cage, he's just like, f food. And then he just like grabs Jennifer and it's like dead end. Oh. Oh, there she is. Oh, I forgot this could happen. Jennifer. You're okay. Well, I guess it's a good thing you didn't fall out the window this time. Lot. Half a second. Or half a sec. I'll get you out. There we go. Now get out of here before Mary comes. Oh, boy. Quickly. Jennifer. What What about Simon? We just gonna leave him there? Can't imagine what this dude's been through. I wanted to, like, help him. I mean, he's, he's definitely kind of... Uh-oh. A voice is heard outside the shed. Now, isn't that a pity? Jennifer, don't move a muscle. I will punish you. You can check this box. You can check this wood. Hang on. I probably should have checked the wooden stick here. Oh, I can hide. Simon, don't... There's no point in hiding. Come out wherever you are, Jennifer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know what's gonna happen now. Yeah, no wonder Simon didn't leave. Am I supposed to just... Make a run for it while she's running that way? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Is that a tray of brownies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just come on out. Oh, they, they want me to run for it. Oh, no, no. Hiding in a place like this. Just like a thief. I don't think I made it. Dead end. I was kind of, I, I kind of want, want Simon to do something. Just, just, suddenly he just goes full Simon Belmont here. He takes out the claw, he takes out the scissorman. Continue. Alright, this time let's, uh... Oh, it takes me back to this part. Alright. Get up, get up, Jennifer. Uh... Uh, hang on. At this time, I'll just do. I'll just do this because I know y'all probably want to see what happens. Where? Ugh. Ugh. Who, who are you? Uh. Uh. F food. Ugh. Who are you? Food. Is he not? He does. He's not doing it. Weird. He's supposed to. I. It's not working. Maybe it didn't. Hmm. You have the ham, so he won't. Oh, okay. It's pretty much the game's way of ensuring that you can't get stuck. I suppose that makes sense. He can smell the ham. Yeah. I physically can't, yeah, I physically can't show you. 
Um, who are you? Simon. Simon B B Barrows. Yeah, not the good, not the good Simon B. It's watching you. Right now, it's watching you. You're being watched. Watching you. Cradle under the star. Cradle under the star. <laughs> um, I forget what happens if Lot doesn't come to open the cage. I think you're supposed to do something else. To get out of the cage. And this game, yeah, like I said, the, the game has a couple of things that can happen. Some random elements, some based on, like, what, what uh, triggers you activate, what items you have. Lot. It's an interesting game, but yeah, it's... Not, not the most, um... Speedy, speedy game, sadly. Requires lots of patience. Going into this game blind, I can't imagine anybody enjoying it. <laughs> Especially nowadays. You just sent, you'd get to quickly get to a point where you're combing every single room trying to figure out what to do. <gasps> oh no. The chat makes the tango faster. Now isn't that a pity? So you guys heard the pop, so yeah. She's gone, sadly. I will punish you, Jennifer. Alright, so now we're gonna use the stick. Watch this. Ooh! No, 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 Jennifer, take, take, take the thing. That was my first time, I don't remember. She's automatically running this way. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. I have control over her, but she starts automatically running to the right for some reason. Alright, so what did that exactly unlock? I didn't really get an item out of that, did I? But with this, all three of the girls are gone. Yeah, she really should have just took the, uh... Took Mary's weapon there. Now I need to find the West Wing key, which is... It wasn't in the bird's nest, so it should be in a box somewhere. Yeah, it's here. The lights are out. I can see that. Where's the switch? We don't need them. There's a key in here. Pocketed West Wing key. Alright. While we got a chance, I'm just gonna go ahead and rest here to get my energy back up, because we're gonna be going to the red side. Or the red the red halls. That's where all the creep that's where Scissorman starts becoming a problem again. Ugh. So we found Laura in the um the suit of armor. We saw. We know that Lot didn't uh, survive at the pool there, and whatever her name was, she fell through like the the ceiling at the start. That's all three of them. So we canon now. We're canon. Oh, this right. The TV can randomly turn on. Okay, that was a little glitchy because she was in her crouch animation previously. And when we turn this off, this is another one of those random things. Turn it off and watch the painting. Is it going to do the thing? It's not. The painting's supposed to, like, bleed tears of blood when you, uh... When you turn off the TV there. Can't wait till we find Leonard. Looks like it's broken. Okay. Should probably turn that off before Scissorman hears it. Don't want to do that. We're never playing Night Cry again. You cannot make me play that abomination of a game. I would rather res I will rather replay Clock Tower 2 Struggle Within. Okay, I guess we get no uh spooky painting this time, chat. Let's go. There's nothing on the table or anything. No more Nightcry, ever. 
It is canon. The second game continues with Jennifer, and it literally starts by telling you that. She's the only one that makes it out of here. That's the canon ending. Even though it's not the best ending, technically. Oh boy. But yeah, I, I played the Clock Tower games like two, uh, Halloween-ish uh, two years ago. I'm playing them again because, hey, why not? It's cozy, it's fun, it's happy, it's wholesome like Moomin. It's spooky. Games like this are cozy to watch, but they can be very infuriating to play. So I'm suffering for you. Locked. Did I not pick up the West Wing key? No, West Wing key, idiot. This is the east side. I know where I gotta go now. I gotta run! Let's go. I think I like... Uh, so here's the thing. I should probably, while we're running very, very slowly across the mansion to get to the west side again, um, I should probably explain how weird the naming is for this series. So this is Clock Tower, the first one. But because it only came out in Japan, um, the sequel to it, Clock Tower 2, on the PS1, which is a se which continues Jennifer's story and all that, that game was called Clock Tower 2 in Japan. But because this game didn't come out in, in North America, they just said, okay, the second game is just called Clock Tower. And then they made a spinoff called Clock Tower Ghost Head. And they, in North America, they released that game as Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. So there's two different games called Clock Tower 2. And then they made Clock Tower 3 and they titled it properly and they just called it Clock Tower 3. But that Clock Tower 3 has absolutely nothing to do with anything. And it's it's literally just a name on the wrong game. It's hilarious. But the second game on PS1, that that one is probably the most interesting in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's like a Final Fantasy situation, ain't it? And yeah, it's funny, because in Clock Tower Ghost Head, there's a poster for Clock Tower 2, and they didn't edit it, so it, it has there's like a poster with Jennifer on it as a reference to the, to, this, to the second game. And yeah, it just says Clock Tower 2 for the wrong Clock Tower 2. It's, it, it hurts to think about. <laughs> it's so funny. Use the West Wing key. Here we go. And you really gotta run all over the place, sadly. Boop, boop. I have not played 3. It's a PS2 game. I, I do want to play it, maybe this year. If I have time, I could do it uh, sometime in October, because I have never played that one before. But it's really it's a really strange game that has nothing to do with the other games at all. I mean, Ghost Head doesn't either. Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. Now we're in the red area. I should have what I need here. Oh, chat, I forgot something on the other side of the mansion. I forgot to get the bottle of perfume. I can get that later. I know where it is, but I need it to beat the game. First, let's just look around here. Even when I... Chat, even when I knew what I was doing this time around, it took us 40, like almost 45 minutes to get to this part of the game. What? Ugh. Ah! Oh, it's a beating heart there. That's not very nice. It's totally spooky. Uh, check out the animal stuff. Again, very patient game. All the scissorman- like, this is where the game starts to give you all, like, the different, like, scissorman encounters and all the randomized, like, sort of random hiding spots. The first- the first part of the game is very... eh. Slow to figure out. There's nothing in here. I guess it's a hiding spot. So, um, I do want to finish this in one sitting, so walk- if someone- if you want to hold up a walkthrough to help me speed along the later parts. I know that there's another very finicky, like, item cursor thing at the end of the game that you can easily miss. And you need to do it to beat the game. So I guess that's it here. Again, there's some random item spawns. Like, now everything is in the same message. Same spot, that is. 
Now, let's see, where am I supposed to go? Bo, 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 bo. Let's see there. I did not get the perfume, no. I'm gonna go get that uh, in a bit. Uh, first, let me look down here. Actually, you know what? Ah, never mind. Oh, boy. Down the stairs. I think I have to unlock a door from the other side here. Open this. Oh. This is a creepy looking room. Let me check. Hmm. Just let my energy recover here. Perfect spot to hide. That doll just... That one just laughed. You saw that, right? I don't think I've seen that before. Mannequin is wearing a dress. Dress looks nice. Not so much anymore. Mannequin is wearing a dress. Why must everything I touch be destroyed? You gonna... Keep laughing at me? I can't do anything to laughing one. I guess that's it. There's nothing here. Still laughing. Let's just go to the other side of the hall now. Just keep on walking. Go in here. Open up this door. And... What is this hall again? Did I just unlock the... I did, didn't I? That door was locked before, and I opened it from the other side. Now I've connected it to the other side of the mansion. Okay, yeah, there's no reason to be here anymore. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, uh... Maybe find a room to sit down in. And rest a bit. Boop, 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 boop. Just be happy. Just be careful. I wish- I do wish the hallways had, like, more landmarks to them. Just something that makes it easier to tell them apart. Like, it, all they do really do is one half of the game has blue hallways, and the other half has, like, these reddish- purple ones. I recover more energy if I rest if I rest anywhere but like a hallway. Oh, I look this bathroom is literally just a recolor of the earlier one too. How about we wash our hands? The water is running. Okay. I think there's, like, a chance that you can open it, oh, like, turn on the sink and, there's and like, bugs come out or something. Alright, what do we check? Box? Uh-oh. So I don't have a choice here. Ah! It's a kitty cat. What, why are you, why are you leaving? 
Jennifer, what are you doing? There's a kitty cat there. I can't open that. I think that has a chance of being Scissorman that it pops out of the box instead. I can't interact with the kitten. Didn't she just have blue? Ah, whatever, let's get going. She is absolutely allergic. Hmm. Wait. Hang on a second. I was watching there. I gotta go in this dang thing. Cannot pet kitty cat. It seems the door is locked. It seems it's locked, yes. Oh yeah, this is my favorite thing in this whole game. Is this door right here? It just... You can't interact with it. You can't acknowledge its existence. Why? Alright, let's just let it recover first. Isn't that, a co isn't that cool? The door doesn't exist. It's just painted on. It would be cool if you could interact with the door and find that out. Also, did you guys just hear something in the game, or did I imagine it? I heard, like, a squeak. I wasn't- I'm not sure if that was, like, my headphones, my chair, or if it was from the game. Super-ba-ba-ba. Okay, just let her sit there for a second. You guys heard something, too? What door? You're crazy. I don't see anything. Recover, Jennifer. Recover. I need her at full energy so she can run away better. You guys did hear a squeak. I don't know what that what that was. I think it was from the game. Let's see. All right, let's go, Jennifer. Hmm, haven't seen this room before either. It, it even has. It even has the same rock pile. Man. Do you see how confusing this mansion is? Really confusing. Alright, let's walk over here. What do we got? And we have another section. Yeah, this mansion is huge and everything looks the same. Oh man. The rock pile is aesthetic. Yeah, that rock pile doesn't have anything. Stuff fell. So, I won't, like, read it out loud, but if someone in chat wants to, like, give me, uh, an indication of what items I need next. I know I need to go back for the perfume later, but, oh. Oh, this is a nice room. Look at that. That's so nice. Moomin would love this room. A corpse of a crow. There's a key here. Cage key. Okay. I'm guessing it's for this cage over here. Rats scurry about. Single bird is left in the cage. Not if I can help it. There we go. Yeah. The key is right where it needs to be, in the same room. That's always good. Fly out the window. I hope I find a way out of here, too. That's a nice little touch. I like that. Empty. Empty. There's nothing there. Rats scurry about. Can I open the this, too? Do I want to? The rats ran away. Okay. 
Not even an animation for opening that, too. Let's see. Look around. I guess that's it. It might be random whether there's supposed to be an item in this cage. We need a Moomin approved emote. Yeah, we could. We need a lot of Moomins. Boop, 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 boop. Opening the cage decides your ending, I think. You're probably right. There's a lot of random things in this game that just... You're not going to know whether or not they affect the ending. Let's see. I'm definitely not going for, like, the best ending. I'm just going for, like, a ending. And with the way things are right now, I, uh... Piano there. I, I mean, I can get the canon ending from when we play the next game right after. It's a record player. It's unplugged. Oh. Uh-oh. Y'all just see that? Y'all saw- y'all saw him. He just, uh, poked his head out from the ceiling. Looks like part of the ceiling fell. Did he disappear? I'm surprised he didn't just pop out at me. Just making sure you're okay. There's only junk inside. Now, I am aware of one thing, and I'm, I'm, I know how to stop him from chasing me right now. Oh, no, he's still up there. You saw that, right? Never mind. Hang on. Can I hide behind the curtains here? A staff rests in the pot. Oh, that's actually really important. That has a chance of having Scissorman behind there. But yeah, you need this for the end of the game. He's still up there. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. He's just like messing with me up there. I got a real... Okay, there, yeah, no door there. Alright. The staff is something I think confused me one of the first times I played this game, so I'm glad I got it. Um... I wish there was, like, a map... Like, a map or something in this dang game. That's the butcher room. So we go all the way back over here, and then there's stairs I need to climb. Oops. Yeah, let's go up the stairs. Running lowers your uh, energy, obviously, too. So that's fun. You ha you pretty much have to walk sometimes if you want to go anywhere. There's this board. Just a simple plank of wood. You, you want to use the simple plank of wood, Jennifer? No, you're going to jump across because you're a silly. A map would make it less spooky. Oh, that's Resident Evil. Wait, have I not been here? Like three times now, or is this a different, different version? Nope, that's the rock pile. Right, I go down the stairs, and then there's, uh, to the ver- on the door on the left is, uh, the doll room. It's like the plank and cat in the box. Oh, yeah. First floor can be seen. Oh, so now you- now- yeah, you had to look at the hole first. 
Put it down, Jennifer. Boop, boop. Doesn't even, she's not even walking on it either. And, hmm. Something strange about this spot. The wall looks painted over. Yeah, it does. They did a great job. Can't check the statue down there. Boop, 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 boop. Sure, it's nothing. Let's go in this room. And here we have... That wall looks suspicious there, too, doesn't it? There's a crack in the wall. You see that, chat? She's going towards it. Take your time, Jennifer. Take your time. Wait, what? Oh, great. What? I didn't even get a chance to run. Oh, that was unfair. You guys saw that was that was kind of glitchy. <laughs> that was he literally spawned like on her, so there's nothing I could do about that. <laughs> that was silly. Maybe I should activate him first. Yeah. Get ready to mash L button. No, I was too close. <sighs> I think I need to, uh, wait a little. Maybe I need to just stand a little bit. There we go. Now I can get out of here. Now let's deal with this. Now I can get away from him. Run, Jennifer, run. Can I move the board? I don't remember there being a hiding spot. Does he just fall? Let me try that. Oh, this is automatic. I have to be running from this side. That that's a little weird. All right then, he's gone. Well, that was cool, and it also made a perfect sense when you think about how he chased me from room to room. Oh boy. Okay, now can I check this room peacefully? Hang on, I'm gonna... This is the slowest thing ever, so we're just gonna do that. It looks like it's been painted over. There's cracks here, it's deteriorating. So let's take this stick of wood and attack it. Pow. Yeah, yeah, just poke it a couple times and that happens. <gasps> there's a room over here. Now, there's something in this room that I think is based on a timer. There might be something here depending on how long it took me. Was I fast enough? No, it's not here. It hasn't been used in ages. The air in this room is stagnant. Um, 
Darn it. You can notice there's something, there's little, uh, tallies on the side there. It only works if you get, oh, it only works if you get, uh, oh, he di it disappears if I get drugged by Mary. Okay. I thought you had to do that, though. So unless, so, I, so if I avoid, avoiding one event, I get another. I see. I can't open this door. Yeah, but, uh, there's something, there's a skeleton in this room, and I guess it disappears. I guess Mary moves it if you, uh, at when, she, you, when you get knocked out. But that doesn't make any sense, because the room is sealed up. It's weird. So I guess there's just nothing there. The skeleton gets up and leaves. Turn on the lights. He gets tired of waiting. Maybe she seals it? I don't really know. Switch is broken. Alright. Now let's check the rest over here. There's nothing there. Okay, so I've checked out everything on this side of the mansion. The bottom of the stairs and everything. I got the staff. That's what I need. I think I'm going to do a second playthrough just for that. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. We ain't got time for that today. It's already... Oh, crap. It's really almost two. I better hurry this one up, then. See, I wonder who lit this. Clock Tower uh, PS1 might end up being a two-parter at this point. Empty. Some books. Some books. What about them? Mm hmm. There's a pool in the courtyard. Hmm. It's a picture of a woman. This person looks familiar. Portrait of a middle-aged woman. Maybe I sh I think I might have to save Clock Tower PS1 for next time. Because I kind of want to do an entire playthrough of it in one sitting, and I don't think there's going to be time. I've got like three hours left, and oh, hello. Hmm. I might just save it for tomorrow instead. Feels like someone's watching. Well, maybe they should stop. That's rude. It's a French doll. From the, hung from the ceiling. Hang on. Let me just let my character rest for a moment. I don't think there's gonna be enough time for one session. I mean, it's my own fault. I started a little bit late. And we had to deal with that box. Dylan isn't streaming tomorrow because it's Wednesday. You're right. He isn't. Hmm. Yeah, we wait. And then I'm gonna once I get full energy, I'm just gonna leave and reset the room for the continue. All is good, all is good. Ugh. Heal up, Jennifer. Yeah, we're definitely not going to have time when this is a mechanic. Standing still and waiting to heal. Great fun. Hang on, let me just leave. A 
Open the door. Then, hang on, I can't check the, these books, can I? Things written here look serious. Huh? Things written here look serious. He's just confused. Confused. Let's open the door. Go on through. Okay. This is a child's room, and it clearly hasn't been looked in a while. Looks like a child's bed. Dirty, it stains in dust. Chat, what should I play after this, since I'll probably have time? Tomorrow, we'll just settle in. Um, let's see. Tomorrow, we'll settle in for a long session of the PS1 game. That'll be fun. Let's see. Baby bear game? Hmm, possible. French doll. Just trying to check anything else here. Dot, dot, dot. Can't check that thing. It's just a creepy doll. Hmm, Tetris could be fun, too. Key was left on it. Oh, ceremony key. Well, I could have... Uh-oh. What was that sound? <gasps> the doll is spinning. Uh... I think I'm supposed to do something here. The door will not open. Uh-oh. Hit it with a rock. Oh, it's it's. Ah. How do I deal with this again? I remember this being a very awkward part of the game. I have to do something to get rid of the doll. Ah. Uh... How do I deal with this again? Do I have to click on the doll? Check this. It's big clown doll. Big clown doll. Rope? No, that's not what the rope is for. Um, I'm, I'm stuck in this room, but I, I remember there's something weird. The light switch, maybe? No. The light switch did not work. I can't go over here. Probably dead now. Oh, that's great. Dead end. Yeah, it's moments like these are also quite awkward, aren't they? I just have to walk calmly towards it. Again, this is all stuff I've done before, like two years ago, but it's so weird how it works. I gotta get the ceremony key again. Just walk calmly towards the monster. And that will make it different, apparently. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba 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 -ba. Just walk towards it. Just walk towards it. Then mash panic this time. Is it really just to, I have to... I just need to have more ground in this room. Is that how it works? Or do I have to get near this? Okay. Well, I'm near this. Can I check it now? Um. Um, are you sure? I don't think this is how it works. 
I uh, can't seem to do this. Even with the walkthrough, this game is a nightmare. <laughs> Imagine just getting here and having no idea what to do after everything before this and just giving up. This is what the guide says. Oh, the guides for this game are amazing. The same guides also don't tell you how to correctly push that box. I remember when I used a walkthrough for Clock Tower 2, and it w and I believe I read it during the recording, and it was like written by a. <sighs> Come on, I'm gonna check this. Looks like a child's bed. I'm mashing the panic button, but it doesn't seem to... Come on. Walk up to her. Slowly! Now it worked! Was I not mashing hard enough? I, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Yes, I was mashing B button. I I don't know what I did different that time. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's it's head's just gone. So let's see. I have a ceremony key now. Uh, the, some of the keys aren't listed in the actual items now. I tried checking all the items in that room. I don't know where the heck I am now. So, let's just look around. I still need to find... I have everything I need, I think, except the perfume. Oh, it's this room again. Let's just run. Where does this go again? I think I know where it goes. Yeah, this place. We don't need to check this part out anymore. All right, here we go. Good. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to sit here and recover some energy first. Just sit here. Take your time. Take a moment to relax. I think the perfume is it. All right, so once I get the perfume, I just need to find a certain room, and I have everything I need to get to the thing that's in the title, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This game is totally spooky. I wonder if, like, there was, like, uh... The reason there's a lot of, like, repeating-looking stuff... I mean, this game isn't gigantic, but... Do you think they, you, they, they were limited by the cartridge space? That's why, like, a lot of the rooms look exactly the same. Because, I don't know... I, 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 as much as I like the sprite work, I don't think it would... F this game would fill up the entire cartridge, maybe. Was it an early Super Nintendo game? Because I know that, like, early Super Nintendo games, they didn't... Uh, it was an issue with, like, programmers. Uh, they didn't fully realize how to, like, store, like maximize their use of the space on the cartridge. That's a big reason, like, Final Fight 1, they had to, like, cut an entire character. But, like, Final Fight 2 and 3 had, like, three characters to play as. They probably were just limited on space. Did, did they, does anyone know if, oh, during, like, the Super Nintendo's lifetime, like, they increased the cartridge space, or if, um, because I, I remember reading that just over time, people just got better at, like, making use of the space so they could get more on there. This game is 1995. Yeah, the Super Nintendo was 1990, 91, I think. So, yeah, kind of a bit into its lifetime. It's weird to think about just how long the NES and Super NES were a thing. Just, like, yeah, they were around for quite a while. Hang on, check this room now. And then N64 was like 2000, 2001, I think. Or was it 99? This leads back to the courtyard. They did make larger cartridges, okay. N64 wasn't very long, was it? By comparison. GameCube... Wasn't GameCube, like, uh... 
Super Metroid had a bigger cartridge. Okay. Let me go down here now. I don't think I've explored this section yet. I think. Maybe. I want to say GameCube was 2004? Maybe a year before that? Man, N64 was not around for a long time. Yeah, it's the doll room. This doll room, I've been here. N64 was quick, yeah. It's weird to think about just how big the NES and Super Nintendo were. In fact, I remember reading just recently that the Switch has finally... Is like the first console from Nintendo to surpass the NES's lifetime sales, which is a really, really big deal. So I think Switch, is, we're definitely going to see like a Switch 2 thing, I, I think. I don't think they're going to drastically try and change stuff in, like what they did with the Wii U, because man, did the Wii U not do good. It's weird how they went from one of the one of their worst cons, no, not one of, easily the worst console they've ever released, like sales wise to their eat to their biggest since the NES. I I could have sworn that um Thousand Year Door came out. Wait, GameCube was two thousand one. Oh wow, what 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 was the N sixty four's day then? Oh that noise wasn't Virtual Boy the worst. Uh, well that was a handheld. I mean you can argue the Switch was too, but it's kind of just both. I forget the Virtual Boy exists. The thing was like had like a month of of life. Hang on, I need to check downstairs again. I'm I'm a little confused. Let's see. Let's see. Didn't did the Wii? Wait, I know the Wii did really really well, but did it um the Wii didn't beat the... Hang on, why do I keep going here? I'm confused. I'm very confused. The Wii didn't beat the NES, did it? I need to go... No, come on. Back up the stairs. I need to go get the perfume, and then I gotta find the room. I'm just gonna... Hang on. Let me go up the stairs quickly. I know that the Wii was really, really big, but I don't think it passed the NES in, in terms of, like, lifetime sales, did it? I feel like it probably could have. What? What am I doing? What, where the heck am I going? I don't know where I'm lost. I'm so lost right now. I guess I gotta take one of these doors to it. Yeah, there's two different hallways like this. I'm going somewhere. That's for sure. All right, here we are. Now, the perfume is downstairs, and I think where I need to go is upstairs. I have a key for the ceremony room, which is over here. Hang on, let me see, I think. NES was 61 million, the Wii was 101 million. Okay, well clearly I was just way off. Oh, locked? What do you mean locked? I have the key for that. Okay, never mind. I was way off with that, with those numbers. I know where the perfume is, but does anyone know where the ceremony room is? Because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember where that is. I think that's the only thing I'm going to need someone to just look up for me. Hang on. Let's speed through the stairs, because the stairs are very, very slow. Yeah, okay. I guess I'm, I was completely way, way off. So, is it just the Wii has been... So the Switch hasn't beaten the Wii yet. I could have sworn that the NES was had, had beaten the Wii and the Wii was close. Have I been to the library? I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I'm so confused. Oh, the, I, I remember seeing some sales figures. The Wii U... What, it, the Wii U really did do that, ba that badly. Gold key. Oh, I can drink this again. That sounds like a good idea. This isn't what I'm looking for, though. Stop ringing phone. The switch is under the Wii at this point. Okay. Alright. So right now, the switch is like the second best. I definitely could see the switch beating out the Wii. Let's just hope... I'm, I'm just hoping that in like a few years, we don't get something like the Switch U. 
Ugh, or the new Switch. I think that would be a worse name for it. Let's see. There's a key under the glass, I think. Oh. Well, I can always continue if you're wrong. There's a rumor that next year something new would be a thing. There's a rumor for a lot of things this year. Seems to have been recently used. Some of the drink is still in there. Hmm. Hmm? A silver key is under the glass. Okay, thank you. I never would have checked that. And that should be for upstairs. Appreciate that. Uh, was it uh, Mr. Bear? Critzel Bear? That was your name? I said your name. There you go. No, no, knowing Nintendo, we're going to get the Switch U, and it's only going to be available for three months. Let's see. I pre-ordered 3D All-Stars, and the GameStop canceled it. Oh, boy. Hope you have fun with that. Oh, I haven't gotten a chance to pre-order anything. Let's see. Now I can go upstairs, but let me just think for a second. I think the... I need to go to the hallway to the right to get the perfume, and then I gotta go up the stairs and use the silver key in the top left. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we're just gonna have to wait a bit. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. In a few years, we'll get a Switch with a foldable, foldable screen. I mean, I like my Switch. It's fun. Switch is fun for, like, RPGs and stuff for me. But, uh, I'm not really sold on getting a new console anytime soon. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see. Let's go over here now. And see. By the way, chat, um, for tomorrow's stream, I might get a chance to get some Pokemon cards. I probably shouldn't open them during Clock Tower PS1. <laughs> that might be not be the best game to open Pokemon cards for. Or maybe I could while I walk up a set of stairs. Now oh, this is this. Hang on. I'm sorry. Where was... Where was the room? God, I, I get so lost in this dang game. That's the thing. I, apparently, a lot of people's pre-orders for 3D All-Stars are just getting canceled because, uh, from what I understand, uh, Nintendo is pretty infamous for supplying stores with what they order. Small bottle of perfume. All right, there we go. I got it. Hmm. It smells like Miss Mary's. Let's see. Picked up perfume. Oh, I don't need any spooky Pokemon games for that. Super limited copies. Does anyone remember when, like, Splatoon came out for the Wii U? And, um, uh-oh. Are you okay, Jennifer? I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't worry about it down there. Uh, Splatoon, when Splatoon 1 was coming out, we uh, had, uh... There was, like, this super special edition that came with Amiibos, and, like, I, I believe there was, like, uh, in Europe, there was a truck or something that got, like, uh, that actually got hijacked, and, um, people had a bunch of their pre-orders completely canceled. It's cool. It's still cool. Jennifer didn't look sick. Boop, boop, boop. All is good. All is good. Imagine if you had a copy of 3D All-Stars and it got damaged. Oh. Oh, boy. Enjoy it while you can. Soon that thing... Soon it's gonna cost more than just buying the N64, GameCube disc, and Wii disc. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, Jennifer, go to this. Use silver key. Okay, is this it? 
This is it. All right. Everything I need should be in here. Let's see, there's a note here. Time will cause adherence. The clock tower's clock stopped. Various chemicals are on the desk. Chair. I believe I need to move this. Am I winning? Oh, yes, I would. It has chemical symbols on it. This is hard to understand. Ugh. It has chemical symbols on it. It's hard to understand. Can I not, like, move it? What do I do in this room again? Walk through friends. Help me out. Let's see. Hang on. I gotta, like, move something, don't I? Do I need to read about... I hope I don't have to, like, read about this. This game explains nothing. Yes. That's correct. I don't have to use the staff on this, do I? Hmm? It has chemical symbols on it. This is hard to understand. I can check this bookshelf. Oh no. Am I unable to move the bookshelf because I didn't read about the secret in the other side of the mansion? You need to check the mural first. Oh, this. Let's see. The mural covers the entire wall. Part of it is hidden behind that shelf. Oh, yeah, okay. That's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to push the shelf out of the way. Crying out loud. Let's see. That looks like a staff. Can I use that here? Are you gonna do anything, Jennifer? It depicts a ceremony. Is that room inside this house? Okay. So now I have to go find the ceremony room. Now that I've seen this. Right? I believe so. It depicts a ceremony. Is that... You, yeah, you're unable to solve the puzzle in the ceremony room unless you look at this place. Basically, examine everything that can be examined. When Jennifer wants to see the mural, knock the bookshelf over and check the mural again. Okay, so I should be good now. There's nothing else I can check here, right? There's a note here. Time will cause adherence. The clock is stopped. The clock tower is stopped. Yes, sir -y. that's fun. Boop, 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 boop. Can't check this stuff anymore. All right, let's get out of here. All right, now... How do I get to the ceremony room? I'm pretty sure it's on the red, the red side, so I gotta go through here again. Use the west wing key. And now we slowly walk to our death. Oops. I just clacked something against my metal water bottle there. Oopsie. That's always good. Boop, boop, boop. Sorry. Was that loud? That didn't even spike into the red. was fine. Okay. I'm deaf now. Well, sorry. I think I need to... No, I need to go downstairs and move over to the right, I think. Wasn't loud. Good. Yeah, sadly, there's not going to be enough time for Clock Tower on PS1. Hang on. I'm going to have to change... Let me just change the title for now.
We'll just move that to tomorrow. No, I didn't want to go in this room. I wanted to go down the... Barely heard it. All right. We're, we are just not going to have time until tomorrow, so we'll just do something else after after this one. I promise that the other one is much more... Well, not much more. A little bit faster. <laughs> See, this is this game has a lot of points where I feel like we sh we need a term for this, but a point in a sp uh, like an adventure game where you have absolutely no idea where to go and all the tension is removed because you have to run back and forth the entire map trying everything with everything until you figure out what you're supposed to do. Oh, somehow I'm getting absurdly lucky with Scissorman just not bothering me. That leads to the courtyard. Hmm. Yeah, that clank was kind of loud there. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Tip. Double tap for running. <gasps> no. No. Really? I had no idea until you told me that. This whole stream is just going to be real embarrassing for me to upload now. Boop, 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 doo doo. Let's go in this door. That's the bathroom again. Oh my god. Why does everything have to look exactly the same? Does anyone can at least figure out if the ceremony room is, on, is upstairs or downstairs? Because I have no clue. Let's open this door. <gasps> Here it is, finally. This room looks like the one in the mural. Yes, it does. All right, here we go, here we go. Now I gotta put the staff in the vase. There we go. Yeah, kitty cat's gone, don't worry about it. It's a Celadon vase. What was that sound? <gasps> it opened up. There's nothing else I need here, right? Strange symbols are written here. Time will cause adherence. What does that mean? This is a crow's corpse. The next completely, yeah. That's a spooky thing. Uh, can't check that. All right, nothing else to do here, I suppose. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Hole goes pretty far down. I can descend with this ladder here. I am entertaining, so thanks. Well, thank you, friend. Uh-oh. I blame your compliment for turning Jennifer green. Alright, so now we go down to this spooky cave. Okay, there goes the figure. All right, so now this is a very tricky thing to figure out only because the cursor is really dumb. So something's there. All right, so leave first. I need, to walk forward a bit. First of all, I think I need, no, I think I need to keep walking forward slightly. No, no. Okay. You have to walk to this spot, put the robe on, then the perfume. Dog knows this smell very well. It smells like the perfume Miss Mary uses. All right. Yeah, you have to basically walk into the danger and, and then start doing this. It's annoying. All right, we did it. We're in the end game now, chat. The actually, uh, where, where are you going? Go in here. Did I not click that? I had to click it like three times for some reason. It's in here. The dog is a guard. an elevator. 
So it looks like we're on the way on our way to get the cannon ending, where all three of the other characters are gone. Let's just walk a bit. Can you die from running? Don't think so, but I'm gonna need to rest in a moment. Oh, come on. These caves are a bit confusing with their... Aha! Look at that. A thing. There's a can here. Looks like kerosene. Let me just, uh, sit here for a second. Collect our thoughts. You know, maybe recover our energy. Because we've been running... We spent more time running back and forth normally than we did uh, running from the monster. I, I, I think I got really lucky with the random events in this playthrough. Um, He didn't really bother me that much compared to previous attempts at this game. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just wait a second. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Let's just let our energy recover. Because we need our energy. Yes, I know. Jennifer, it does look like... Uh, there's kerosene there. Walking on over. There we go. Just gonna carefully walk on over. Maybe I should take another, another, uh, rest. Make sure I get it at least out of orange. That's always good, right? Always, always good. You know, how about I just, uh, hit the fast forward option for this? There we go. What's the plot at this point? Was there ever a plot? Yeah, you can just tell there's a thing there. Can't you, Jennifer? And then we walk on over here. Hey, what's this? Why? There's a big curtain. Uh-oh. Jennifer did not want to see that. Run, Jennifer, run. Run! Get! Get up! I'm mashing B button. Who cares? Get in the water. You gonna... You gonna go? Mash, Jennifer, mash! Ah! Okay. Go. Go. You can see, like, his sprite breaking apart there. Oh! We got him. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. We got him. He burned away. Run for it! Alright, I guess I can go there. Can I check this elevator now? Now it works, I think. There we go. Oh yeah, Super Nintendo fire. Everything's falling apart down here. Yeah, it's going. We're going. Look at all these places I can go now. I think I need to go to the top. I don't know it. <gasps> Saw that? 
He's coming. Climb! There he is. Oh no, Jennifer's green again. Come on. Push the thing. The clock's moving. Time is, is an adherence. Meaning the clock tower destroys him. He throws his scissors down and he gives up. Get up. Now she moves on her own. My adopted daughter. You! I will kill you! Ha 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 ha! How do you like them apples, Mary? Just gonna casually walk away. It's over. All three of them are done with. Um. Is, uh, anything gonna happen? Jennifer just kind of walked off screen there. Okay, good. It's fading out. There we go. All, all of them are gone. Again, this is the canon. The canon ending. And there it is. All of them are dealt with. And this is some great rain. Look at that. We did it. The game has been beaten. The rain has stopped. And a new day begins. Oh, yeah. What happens in the true ending? I believe it's just the same thing that those, those uh, other girls are with you. All right. And that's just the credits. Is there anything after? Let me just skip through it now. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. This is the true end. You're right. <laughs> You're right. The best end isn't the true end. The game just fades out. And that's it. Doesn't even give you the satisfaction of telling you what happens after. Let me check ending list. What did I get? Ending B. So yeah, ending B is the second best ending, and it's the canon ending. There we go. Yeah, but that was Clock Tower. Um... Again, playing this game 100% blind or without a refresher of what where things are, you uh, a lot of the endings are very slightly different from each other. Don't worry too much about it. They can hardly be called other endings. This would have taken me like several hours to ch wandering back and forth. But yeah, if you know what you're doing, it's not a long game, but it's a very intentionally slow, obscure, and requires a lot of patience. There's an S ending. Oh, okay. That must be the one where you save everyone, but yeah. We're gonna end up playing uh, the sequel to this game tomorrow. And again, it's based off the ending of what happens here, so that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, currently it's past 2.30. Uh, I do not have enough time to do a, do a full sitting of that of Clock Tower PS1. It'd be really awkward. So we'll do that tomorrow and we'll play something else for the rest of today's stream instead. But anyways, for the YouTube audience, I hope you all enjoy the spooky revisit of Clock Tower and uh bye bye.